Alongside Havelina men's basketball coach Johnny Estelle, I'm Mark and Sarah for Havelina Athletics. And coach, you got a team preparing for its last two home games of the year. You got UTPB here on Thursday in Western New Mexico on Saturday. And that'll obviously be senior day for you guys on Saturday. What are the emotions like for a head coach on a day? You have four seniors obviously playing their last game here. What's that day like for you as a head coach? Oh, man, they're very difficult. Very difficult. Um, you know, these kids mean the world to us, uh, their family. And, um, you know, it's kind of bittersweet because you want to keep them for life, you know. And But, you know, they have to move on just like a parent. Um, you know, your own children. You know, you'll always be family. They're going to leave the nest one day. and But you just hope and pray that you gave them, um, you know, everything you could and help nurture them and get them to the next level of life. And, um, you know, that's the best part. I think they enjoy that relationship better probably at times uh, than even playing the coach-player uh, relationship because, um, you know, you, you get to enjoy what God brings you together for, you know, is, is family and being there for each other, the good times and the bad times. And I can't tell you how much it means that when I see ex-players of mine that have played uh, for me at other places come by and see me and to see how well they're doing, how much it makes me uh, feel and how gratifying it is for, for me as a coach. Obviously, this has been a tough stretch for your team over the course of the last few weeks, but they still seem like they're confident and like they'll be ready to go come game day this week. How happy are you with the kind of the mental state of where, where your team is heading into this final weekend at home? Uh, you know, I think we're in a good place. I mean, we've played, you know, really the tough part of the schedule. I mean, all every game is tough, uh, but, you know, our kids have showed up. You know, we haven't, you know, the things that we've done not done well, we can fix. Uh, I believe, and I think we got still have time to fix them. So uh, we got to be playing good the last four games here, starting tomorrow, um, going into the tournament. And uh, you know, I, I really like the way our kids have uh, pulled together and, and and how they've just handled adversity. Um, we had a lot of success there, you know, right there, a six game winning streak. Then we went through a tough stretch where we lost some close games. So every time you lose, you learn something, I think, you know, um, you, of course you want to win every one of the games, but I think we've learned something from every loss we've had. You guys still are at the top of the conference and a lot of the statistics, especially defensively scoring defense, field goal percentage, you're still in the top 10 in the nation, I believe. Are you happy with the way this club has, uh, this club has played from a defensive perspective this season? Yeah, I have. I think because defensive-oriented teams are unselfish by nature. I think that they give a part of themselves every time they go out to take a charge, extra effort, rebound, those things that – I think that exemplifies our program. You know, there's a lot of good programs out there now that I, uh, I, I, I like watching. You know, I like watching the Houston uh, Cougars, you know, not you know, because I – work there but I and got have good friends there but I love their brand of basketball. They give themselves a chance every night. They all compete. They pull for each other. They have a great culture there that Coach Sampson has done a good job instilling there. So, you know, that's kind of what I've my brand of basketball that I had at Navarro while I was at before and we've had here. We just gotta continue to get better offensively and try to take the next step. You know, I, I always feel like if you guard you have a chance to win. And it makes it makes it makes it seem like that uh, you have kids that are unselfish and willing to take the next step. So both of these teams coming in bring in some guys who can really score the basketball, like Jacob Ledoux, for instance, for UTPB, who's leading the conference in points per game. How, how do you guys contain the scores that both of these squads bring in? What are the things that make both these teams tough to stop offensively? Uh, you know, I think that they they, they run a. A style of offense and a transition type of offense that you got to get back in, and you have to be consistent. And then you have to have everyone guard. You know, you're not. It's not one man's assignment. Uh, he is a very good player. You know, Coach Newman does a great job with what they do. Um, but you have to guard those kind of teams with the with, with a team attitude. You cannot say one on one defense. You got to guard with five guys. So you know, he, he, we'll have our work cut out for him. I mean, he's a very good player. Um, but you know, I just think that our guys have. We've consistently seen like we've guarded really good offensive teams. You know, West Texas, uh, St. Edwards, uh, you know, UTPB the first time, Commerce. Those are really good offensive teams, uh, of to say the least, of anybody else. But we've always stepped up for the challenge, and I think hopefully we'll do that tomorrow. All right, well, Coach, we'll see you on the court. Best luck this weekend. Hey, thank you, Mark.